Hello everyone. Do you have a Raspberry Pi with RAM of 2GB or lower or think a board here which just comes with 2GB RAM and found the default OS running sluggish with bad user experience like browsing etc. So I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a minimal desktop environment so that the rest of the RAM can be utilized for other applications like browsing etc. So let's get started. So let me first begin by flashing Raspberry Pi OS to the SD card. I'm going to use the Raspberry Imager software. So let me download the update later. Custom and uh, let me dive by Raspberry Pi. I'm going to post the link in the description of where you can Go ahead and download the Raspberry Pi, oh, sorry, the Dive Pi for your Raspberry Pi. Let's uh, wait for the flashing to be completed. So it's almost done. It's just uh, performing the verification. Uh, we can always go ahead and skip the verification. So I'm going to do that exactly. So once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and insert the SD card and boot up Raspberry Pi. So it's uh, booting up, so we'll give it some time. Okay, we can go ahead and begin the initialization. Uh, so it's root and dive pi. It's going to ask for certain small amount of configuration. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I would not need it. Again, a few of these options would not pop up if you're using a Raspberry Pi 4 or if you're using a Thinkerboard. Uh, these options might be specific to maybe Raspberry Pi 2, Raspberry Pi 3. So do keep that in mind. All right, opt off is. Sure, I want to adjust. I'm going to set a password. I'm going to do that for the root as well. So we are in the main page. So this is where I'm going to show you how I exactly set up the minimal desktop manual. So you have to go to the browse software and you see GN step. Yes, so this is the one. Uh, by default, Diet Pi comes with very minimal, uh, no UI, just the command line. So you have to select GN step. And along with that, if you need a few of the other packages, you can do that. For example, by default, DiPi uses Firefox, so you can go ahead and change that to Chrome. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to use Wim, which I use actually for text editing, but I'm going to use a tiny version, not going to impact a lot. And uh, desktop preference, I'm going to change it to GNU Step, and browser, I'm going to change to Chrome. And once you're done, all you have to scroll down, install. And that's it. It's going to do rest of the things for you. I'm going to resume back once all the installation is done. Okay, so most of the installation is done. So it's asking for the increased GP because uh, we have enabled the graphic user interface. So that's why. So we have to go ahead and enable this. That's it. Uh, as you can see, it's still in the console, but not really UI. So all you have to do is you uh, type in start and you can see start X. 
and that's it. Uh, the moment you enter that command, it's going to go ahead and put up the UI. And uh, you might be surprised the UI looks pretty simple, but keep in mind, all the applications are still functional. The ones which you need are all here. You can see here, uh, for example, network and Chromium browser. It loads. And uh, yeah, I mean, there is some learning curve here uh, to get used to it, but uh, still, this is a pretty, you know, lightweight user interface compared with the one, the OS which you get with the Raspberry Pi. And uh, same thing applicable for terminal, like you can open the terminal as you can see here. I'm going to right click and maximize and it works so rest of the process remains the same so uh, the next benchmark would be to uh, check the difference between the RAM consumption so I'm going to use like free so we have the free RAM here uh, I'm going to go ahead and reboot first uh, check with the UI and with, I mean without the UI that's pure console and then with the UI let it boot up so let me log in okay so we have free uh, free RAM is 849240 let me start it up start X 849240. Now, if, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open and type the free command 85. So it's like a very, very low amount of RAM taken up by the UI. So that's all I had in this video. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.